Hey, what's up guys? Anthony here. Hey, look, I wanted to hop on and make this really quick video for you guys. Um, I got something really exciting that I want to share with you. Um, I got a brand new book and I'm going to show you exactly what that book is here in a second. Now, as many of you may know who've kept up with me, you understand that I am, um, by way of my son, I've become a really big hockey fan. Uh, now, my, my son, who's 10 years old, introduced um, the family and us to the world of hockey, you know, close to seven years ago. And we've been really immersed in it. In fact, as I sit around right now, I'm probably, I know I'm sitting on hockey skates and I got sticks and stuff out here in my sunroom. But what I want to share with you is uh, when we started out, um, the book that I'm going to share with you is called, a book called Black Ice. I don't know if you can see that. But it's called Black Ice. And it's by George and Daryl Fosties. And what it does is it documents the black, um, the colored, uh, what does it say? The history of the colored hockey leagues, hockey league of the Maritimes, 1895 through 1925. Now, this is important because what I, I really, when my son got into this, to the hockey league, you know, it's predominantly white sport. He's, um, one of only a couple of black kids that play. And it was important to me that he had images that he could relate to and people that he could relate to as to, you know, he, him not losing his culture and not, and also having cultural awareness of who he is and the impact he made on the sport. So when I began to look around for people that he could identify with, I ended up stumbling across this book. And so I said, you know what, let me get it. Well, it blew me away. And what blew me away about this book was the fact that here was a league that was documented with some of the, the, the world's best players that, um, that played up in Canada. And most of this information, most of the history is not acknowledged by the NHL, like not at all. They're not acknowledged about their, their contributions to the sport, what they did. Now, here it was, my, my, my son, when we got the book, he's like, does it have pictures? As he's only 10, but he wanted to know, he wanted to see pictures of them, right? And even though it's documented in the newspaper articles and in the towns that they existed, um, the NHL to this day still does not acknowledge the contributions of those black hockey players. That is significant to me. We live in a day and age of technology, and it's time to make them aware. So I'm excited about this. Um, for one, for him to know that his culture has made an impact in a sport. It's not just um, predominantly white. And also to learn more information about, uh, about these great athletes. So if you are a hockey fan, sports fan, um, are you an enthusiast about um, African-American culture and history, you want to check out Black Ice and you want to put that in your library um, I've got it there. Again, I keep showing it to you guys, but I just wanted to come in and uh, share that with you. He was excited about it. And we, we're really looking forward to, to reading it. I read a little bit about it and um, it just blows me away. So yeah, that's it. Hey, I'm out of here. As always, sow good seeds, do good work, reap, then teach to repeat. Love you guys. Peace.